I am outside in minus 31, uh, braving very inhumane temperatures to bring to you another marvel of science. We actually have a minus 37 wind chill going on right now, and um, I am going to try and survive long enough to share this with you. I'm going to do something that totally makes it worthwhile living in Canada's cold frozen north, and that is making snow out of boiling water. What I'm going to do is dash inside the house, grab a pot of boiling water, toss it up into the air, it's going to dissipate as water vapor, the stuff that hits the ground will hit the ground as snow. And I'm going to explain at the end of that how and why it all worked. Um, and I kind of feel bad for all you people that are watching this from warmer climates right now because you're not going to get to do this. I've got friends that are probably watching this from Dominican. Hi Tom and Tanya. And some friends in the UK. Hi Natalie. I'm sorry that you won't get to participate in this because you guys are just too warm right now. But I'm going to show you why it's fun to be Canadian. Stay tuned, I'll grab the water. Okay, so here's the boiling water. It's 100 degrees Celsius. And now it's snow. So I'm going to explain to you why that worked. Um, there is some science behind that. Um, and th the reason that it works with boiling water and not cold water is explained and hopefully explained in the way I'm going to tell you about it right now. Um, cold air molecules, so the air that's around us right now, is so cold and dry, those air molecules are very densely packed. They are crowded together and not, v not very mobile. They're just quiet and still and jam-packed together and there's no room between those water molecules to incorporate any other molecules. There's no space between them at all on a molecular level. And so when I take boiling water, which has a great deal of water vapor coming off of it, and water vapor is water molecules that are moving extremely rapidly and they're really well spaced. When I try and throw those up into the air and cram them between the densely packed cold air molecules, there's literally no space for them to get in between all the cold air molecules. So they are forced to compress themselves into their tightest, instantly compress themselves into their tightest, smallest um, form, which is ice crystals. And so that's, that's basically why it works. So hope you enjoyed that science experiment. And just so that you know I'm not lying, I'm going to show you proof of the temperature today. I don't know if it's going to focus on that, but it does say minus 31. And you can actually see, oh, my hand's cold, I need to get my mitten back on. On my hair, the more I talk, I'm actually creating water vapor um, to condense into snow on my hair. It's normally not quite that gray. And I'm just trying to make some more for you so I can show you. <coughs> Air is so cold, I can't breathe. <coughs> I don't know if you can see that, but right here, there is some snow and ice forming on my hair. And actually you can see it even better on my mitten because when I threw that water up into the air I got some water on my mitten. This part of my mitten here, I don't know if you can see it's whiter, is actually frozen solid right now. And um, so I'm going to go back in because I'm starting to get frozen solid. Not even I'm tough enough to stand here for more than five minutes. Um, and I guess one of the reasons that I'm crazy enough to be out here doing this in the first place is because that's where I'm from. And this is the kind of thing that we get to do in Canada. 